There we go. Okay, we're in. <laughs> Everyone, welcome. Uh, we're doing frogs only. So as usual, the rules are to only use frog, toad, and poison dart frog at the end of your turn or when you go into combat. Uh, all food is allowed. You're allowed a sloth if you find it, and then thing goes in the shop phase. So buy pill cell, whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for these guys, and he's the only one that I can find at this stage. So I'm just going to be trying to buff him, I think. And I'm probably going to buy the apple because... Oh, actually, no, I need to look for more of these. And a honey, maybe, might be better. There we go. I will still look for honey, but yeah, this is nice. Okay, let's be the precious... Well, the perfect bones, <laughs> I don't know. And try and find a better hat and stuff, because I've had these on for a while. Alright, is there anything vaguely frog-related? I like the fedora, but it's not exactly there. Maybe a fishing hat, and I can try and leave him in the swamp. If I even have such a background. Hmm. I don't know, I almost feel like jungle is one of the best. Let's go to the sewer. It's new. It's new. These are sewer frogs. And lol, hello. You <laughs> just skipped a frog. Uh, sounds fun. Hey, I managed to hit that guy again. Nice. Ah, okay. Uh, buy this. I'm definitely going to buy and sell mice, I think, because at least I can target onto the large one. But... I don't know. What do I do next turn? Do I, like, keep buying these things? If I do freeze an otter, I just need to get stats. Like, even if they hit other frogs and I eventually combine them, it's probably not that bad. But I like this. The part I don't like is that this still trades into a regular frog. <laughs> so it's like, not the, the stats don't really do anything right now. If I can get it like one more higher, then it will, you know, be able to double trade with regular frogs. But if anyone else is buffing theirs, then, you know, still not going to be amazing value. But that's just how top heavy pets go. Oh, look at them. So, so sad. And I don't know why. Okay, cool. And also, never mind, my <laughs> stats got swapped to the back one, I remember. Uh, Pillow Flamingo, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for that. So let's do this. Actually, maybe you should have bought and sold the otter first, because if it hits that one, then I would have preferred to have done that. It didn't, thankfully. And let's take more honey. Yeah, just buy another honey, keep this frozen. I'm pretty tempted to buy broccoli for these things, but I don't know if I should. Maybe I'll give it one. Or both. <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright, so now these two are going to get swapped around, which I don't love. Maybe swap these two around. So now this will be at the front, kind of. But I'll still keep my honey at the back. You have a single 9-7 frog. Uh, I wish it luck, but I feel like... I feel like that's not great. Because you'd probably trade and or lose to, like, two frogs with honey. <laughs> it's a team down rip. Hey, you made it further than I did, so good job. Wow, I almost, like, lost the... <laughs> I, I felt like I had a very strong team. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, pump this as hard as I can, I think. Just give it everything. And then we can roll a couple of times and see what we find. Uh, I can find toads next turn. I kind of want to have at least one of each, just for the sake of the pack. So I'm gonna try and keep a, a single frog, so I may keep this frozen. I'm going to leave the apple and the otter, though, I think. Just so I can try and roll for other things after. But, yeah, same deal. I don't mind these getting swapped around. So I just hope they'll, like, trade better this time. There's a team with five frogs. Uh, there is. They're not very big, but there are five frogs. And that was also, like, from last turn, so... They may be more scary now. Okay. Did you kill me for four out of five of my lives? I feel like that happens if you make it make it into the late game with most of your HP. You end up losing all of it to like a single person. Oh, thank you for the. That's the thing I forgot. I needed to change the docket. <laughs> all right, thank you. I don't think I freeze this until I find a regular thing. I'm gonna buy sell both the mice. I'm gonna leave the broccoli and avocado and stuff. Let's just make this large and then roll for a toad. Uh, I want to find this, but I also feel like if people are running toes, then maybe that's not the best equipment to have. So I'm going to freeze that instead. Uh, keep rolling. Just 
<laughs> I don't need this many though. Just, just end it. Just try and find a toad. Fine, fine. Look, I will I will buy a garlic for that next turn. Like, he's going to need it. I just need to pray that, like... First of all, I don't mess it up with, like, you know, stats getting swapped around. And uh, that it doesn't get replaced with weakness by someone using a toad. Maybe I can bait it out into something else. No. <laughs> no. Oh, god, I even replaced my B. Okay. Okay, try and find a toad first. No, I could combine everything together, but still not really it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so now I have that. It's kind of a waste of buffs, but, you know, it's still mostly worth doing. And I'm going to buy that. I may just unfreeze the salad ball, though. Yeah, let's unfreeze that. Freeze ball fish again. I'm looking for pills. Stoat at tier 4. Not as amazing. I think I'm going to leave it. Found a pill. Uh, Let's see, then. Do I want you at the back? I probably want to have, like, Honey Summoners more forward now than these would be getting swapped. So I guess I swap these two around and this can stay in the second position. So it may be better. Will there be another view lobby? We'll be going till like, 9, so another hour, really. So it'll probably be, like, 2 to 3 more. Again, depending on how long this goes on for. <laughs> Dan, congratulations. Good job, good job. And, okay, right, I have four things. I had forgotten about how, like, this would also get triggered and then it would get swapped over there. Okay, but I'm keeping this and I think it's worth trying to level it. Let's look for poison dart frogs, so I will be doing that. I think buying something this is fine, just try and not hit that. That is a good hit, I think. Need to pill a bed fish, that's lovely. Dart frog. Roll again, and loads of cool things here. Okay. I'm going to freeze this as well, I think. Like, any way to get XP. But I'm pretty happy with the order I have. Like, I like that this thing ended up with all the stats. Obviously, it's not going to have the garlic, but... Yeah, I think that's fine. I think it's good. Oh, the four squad. Wait, what sort of team did he end with? And also, dock it. Hold on. Uh... Hmm. Is this it? Yes, that is it. Cool. Okay, so I want one of these. I could throw it to the back, maybe. It's not the best thing, but it is something, and I think it's good to have something. And then... I don't even know. I'm just going to have to keep that frozen. I think having two of these could be a fine idea. Maybe it's... I don't know if it's better, though. Yeah, never mind. Just keep that. Freeze that, because I may need it. Another one of these. My whole shop is, like, so frozen. So now the stats are going to get swapped onto here. Which is also fine. So I'm still going to send it. But, yeah. I think it's nice having a summon thing in front of the Poison Dart Frog, because that is a second trigger for it. And, who knows, maybe it'll, like, get some extra value with the Toad. If I can hit something large and give that all the, all the weakness. But yeah, I think, ideally, I'd have, like... No, probably just one toad if I can get it like really high level. Like one toad, a lizard poison dart frogs, and then, you know, <laughs> my frontline frog. But yeah, okay, so I could unfreeze that. I think I want to do this. And then maybe we'll just level this while I'm here as well. So I don't really do that much this turn, but I did get stronger. Lemon, I could lemon onto here. But people are running a lot of toads now. So again, I don't know how much to invest in equipment. Hmm. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to try and like get stats and stuff first, I think. You're dead already. Oh yeah, there are a handful of dead people. Okay. Okay, very good weakness for me. Uh, yeah, amazing. Alright. Solid fight. Yeah, I just need, like, more levels of my Dark Frog and then <laughs> more stats, really. Oh, yeah. Keep this going. I'd love to find another one. Like, I don't want to have to keep, like, tons of regular frogs, but if they're going to keep feeding me XP like this, then I'm going to take it. I'm going to freeze this as well. Alpaca is fine if I get rid of, like, some of this stuff. I can roll and try and get more stats out of these. It may be an idea. 
Yeah, I may do that. I may like combine on my frogs next turn, and then I can alpaca into this toad and just try and find some other thing, and I'll like unfreeze these at the start of it. So for now, leave everything where it is. But if I, I don't know, start a next turn, if I can't use these things, then just unfreeze, combine everything into here. Or maybe keep the honey, but combine everything. And then, yeah, I'll pack a toad and then try and find some other thing. You're okay? You just don't want to go back to work? <laughs> okay, fair enough. And yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm finally, like, kind of getting over my cold. I swear, it's actually, like, hung on for, like, a month. It's, it's been a fun one. Uh, all my stuff is dead. <laughs> yeah, dead. Alright, XRB, very scary team. Alright, more chocolate too. Uh, stack this on there. Buy alpaca first? I can always like, end by buy selling the snail, assuming I have enough money. I'm going to just trust that I do. <laughs> Oris is something. Alright, so now buy sell this. And just buy the other chocolates. And I guess throw it on here, because there's nowhere else to put it. And this thing doesn't have an ability that works anymore. Sad part is now it's also very large, so it's not very likely to die in one hit, which means it's probably going to end up getting weakness. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this at the front because I feel like it doesn't actually need to um get its ability to pop off, because like we're not gonna hit four things. So yeah, just run it like this. Not feeling great about the team right now, but yeah, if I can find more dart frogs and then I don't know. <laughs> scale, maybe get some melon armor. I think melon armor would be very useful in this. Yeah, see, I lost my summon, so I couldn't trade at the end. Stoat, what could you turn into? Oyster, good, hat, maybe. You're not really useful anymore, unless I combine in and find another thing. I don't know, like, now I have Blobfish Pill, and I don't know what I put it on. And now I don't know whether I roll with this cat or not. I think I'd leave it. I'd rather have another Blobfish instead of these toads, so I'm probably going to end up combining those together. So I don't think Blobfish Pill is to play anymore. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of it. Let's try and get some stats. Just a little. More chocolate that I can't use. There's another cat. Maybe freeze these to a pill. Or one of them. Just buy this. Buy that. Freeze that in case I lose again. Still don't really have use for the chocolate. I need to find another poison dart frog. Like, I feel like that is the next best thing I can do. And then I need to find, like, turtles to find melon armor. Because there is none just in the pack. Oh, and see you later, civil. Uh, <laughs> good, wait, I didn't lose. I kept my banana, nice. Okay. Again, like, stuff like popcorn, I feel like it's just too likely to get, like, changed. Ruined. Alright, <laughs> we do this. And honestly, maybe I do just keep this, because now it's getting kind of large, and I don't know when I'm going to find another thing. I just need to start, like, getting stats on my team. Boris is fine for my front line. The only thing is, it'd be kind of bad on, like, these two. Or I guess I can always swap these two around, so it's, it'd only be bad on, like, the dart frog? I can freeze that. Oh, the dart frog, nice. Freeze these two. Yeah, I think I combine the toads next turn. I may run, like, double dart frog, and I'm going to kill the walrus afterwards, I think. Like, I don't know how well I can scale just with, like, shop food, so it's probably best to keep by selling stuff and trying to scale that way for now. Just run a four squad, assuming I don't, like, die next turn. Yeah, like, these, these melons are screwing me up. No. <laughs> oh, so close. Okay. Do I just combine first? No, I, I guess I buy this first. Buy that first, then combine in. Go to paradise? No. Uh, I'm going to pill this. I, I just want to do that. See where it goes. That is fine. And then I guess I buy sell this. And... Pray that I don't <laughs> die next turn. Alright. So, yeah, this is it, I think. I don't know what people are running at the front. Most of these aren't that big. Like, big enough to one-shot this. Oh god, like, do I do like something like this instead? Nah. Alright. <laughs> anyway, my Thank you for the Prime. The three months. Very kind of you. Peanut's gonna disappear. I mean, it's gonna get one hit off. No, it's not, because it's not the front, but, you know. 
It depends if it gets sniped or not. And now it is because it's like the second. I didn't say that. That was the worst um this worst thing for it. Well, I am dead, and that is not top 16. It's like, you know, 20-ish. Yeah, 20 to 25, I'd say. Alright, GG's, GG's. Let me power the prediction. Just found a sloth? Hey! Well, I definitely missed it. Why no popcorn instead of honey? Because everything just gets replaced. If I had really small things, then it may die in one hit and actually summon something, but I feel like you needed to get melon on the big things, otherwise, you know. I could put, like, uh... I could put peanuts on, like, the 3-2 frog, because that would almost definitely die in one hit, you know. Wouldn't survive to snipes and wouldn't get bumped into anything smaller than itself. But, yeah, everything else is gonna get replaced, so I was just trying to find, like, melon, really, which had to be a turtle. Don't believe I saw any. Alright, let's go. Let's go. No <laughs> more join. Yeah, I was like, ah, do I leave it or do I not? But I didn't know if anyone was going for it. Uh, but yes, anyone. Any anyway, I mean, uh, we're doing current tier only. So that means you can only use stuff from the current shop tier. So when the dice on this upgrades, you can only use stuff from that same like line in the shop thing. So first couple of turns, only use tier 1s. When tier 2 unlocks, you so you can get tier 2 stuff. Uh, sell, sell, get rid of your, your tier 1s and use all these. And then sell one until the end of the game where we're all using these. So... Yeah, go crazy, and combinations aren't that useful, but like, I may grab them anyway. And let's be the Salty Millionaires. Dang, barely missed it. I didn't know that anyone was looking for it, I'm sorry. And Sloth, uh, yes, you are allowed a Sloth. Sloths are all, you know, again, normal rules, normal rules. Blanket, thank you for the hydration. You're just slow. I just never know when to, like, wait or not, because most of the time people don't say if they're trying to get in, which makes sense, because they're probably actively trying to get in. But, you know, I'm just kind of, like, sitting in the dark, not sure if someone's trying to join or not. Oh, tier is soft, by the way, tier 1. Yeah, it's tier 1, but again, softs are allowed, so feel, feel free to keep it around. And what do I do here? I could combine this turn just to see a tier 2, and I can buy that next turn. There's no point, like, combining for a tier 3 the turn after that, though. Turn after now, I mean. Maybe I just combine and then... Oh, this is combine. Let's do it. Shrimp. <laughs> I don't want to shrimp, but I feel like I have to take it. Because otherwise I risk just not seeing tier 2s next turn, and uh, at least I will be selling a lot of things, so maybe I'll get some value. Shrimp, I know. Yeah, shrimp is not it. I think it's slightly better than crab. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think the real prize is spiders, because you can just pill those at the start of tier 3, and then, you know, convert your tier 2s into tier 3s. You underestimate the power of shrimp. I could only use it for, like, two turns. Like, oh, the snipes. I am very sorry, that felt mean. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to get, like, a ton of value out of this. Alright, so we have to sell everything now. So, I hope everyone's following along with that. Uh, grab this one next. Can you stop buffing the other tier ones? You're kind of wasting my money. Alright. Alright, there we go. That's not too bad. Probably going to leave you at the back instead of trying to buff the peacock. But, yeah, that's a decent pivot. Not terrible. You upgraded and immediately put it in the team. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, it, it is hard to remember sometimes. I feel the same way just in, like, hard mode, actually, because, like, every now and then I take something like the... the ones that make things cost extra, and I can just never remember. And it's like, you know, unless I'm actively thinking about it, which uh, is most of the time, but every now and then I do royally mess up. Title change? I did change the title. Oh, still a win. Okay, cool. Not that I really need the trophies, that's just, like, bullying someone else, but <laughs> I'll take it. And, yeah, I want to find spiders. Show me spiders. A single spider? Single spider, alright. Yeah, combine that into there. Buy this. Don't need two pills now. And send? Yeah, just leave it. Again, no point going for the combination, because I have to sell that next turn anyway, and I can't use the tier 4 that I'd find from it. You know, unless I 
Hmm. We don't have any use for any of these. We can maybe pillow turtle. But again, it'd be on a tier three that I'd have to buy and then sell in like two turns time. You cheated, but you versus cheater. Sorry. I see. Yeah, I, I hope people can try and keep up with this stuff. It's going to be hard for me to like police this. You see a cricket there. Yeah, that's a, a messed up team. Yeah, this one looks okay. Okay, my peacock's going to die in like one hit. <laughs> Alright, I lost HP. Alright, fair enough. It's my first loss. I'll take it. Okay, so tier 3. We're pivoting again. Let's get rid of things. Maybe I should have done this first, so I might have been able to get stats or something useful. Hmm. I don't hate that. Yeah, I need to find more tier 3s. There are two tier 3s, and a dog is actually really nice with this. Stop. Hit the things. Sure. <laughs> Uh, sell shrimp. I'm gonna buy this. I feel like I have enough summons that this is actually worth it. Yeah, send it like this. This dog is going to carry. I can already feel it. There's a cheetah with a dog. Yeah, like... Not much I can do about it. Like, what is this? <laughs> Obviously against the rules. That was a tough rotation. I actually had a pretty good uh, turn there. Am I okay against this? I think I am, but only because of the garlic. No, I'm not. I still lose. Oh! <laughs> I thought I had such a good team as well. More dogs. I may just, like, combine the dogs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna combine. Worm. It's, it's really not the tier 4 I'd be looking for, but maybe. Alright. Throw you to the front. Just to you know, get him out of the way. This is going to be a very large dog because it's going to get four extra triggers and every trigger is a 2-2. So this is going to be like a, you know, 17-18. I think. Pretty good. Can't believe I got you with my peacocks. Me? Oh my god, there's a camel chain here. A double rabbit. That's going to be rough. This match a chain here. Alright, there are some weird teams about. Oh. I lost the trigger. Now he's still gonna die in like one hit. I'm still fine though. Yeah, that works out for me. Uh yeah, so we need to pivot again, all to tier four, so let's start getting rid of things. I'll take the worm. I'm not gonna be buying food to buff it, unless it's um cupcakes, maybe. Slightly better value than normal. Uh, yeah, here's two more things. I can even whale the deer. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. I'm definitely going to leave them both at the front because I'm afraid of it, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like, eating the wrong thing if something snipes the deer. I don't know if there are snipers at this tier, but maybe it could happen. I don't believe there are. Uh, let's, let's get the rooster instead of the other hippo, but I want to buy a canned food. So let's do something like this. Your pivot was so sad. It does happen sometimes. I feel like my pivots today have been manageable because I'm actually getting like, you know, four things at the start of each turn, kind of. But I've definitely done this before where I had to start like a couple of turns with like one or two things and that's very rough. Cancer are real good here. I mean, yeah, stuff to pivot for a couple of turns, so <laughs> I think so. I'm actually going to buy two of these to try and be a bit safer. And I'll freeze a can, but yeah. Yeah, next turn I do need to look for tier 5, so like, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to buy this or not. I'm on 3 HP. I can't really afford to lose many more times. If I die like twice more, you know, the next couple of rounds, then I won't even get a chance to like, properly utilize any tier 6 stuff. You're on 3 HP too. I bet most people are. It's actually pretty spread out. You know, between like 4, 3, and 2. Even 1, actually. Yeah, no, that's like really spread out. Not many people left on 5 HP. Just these two, but... Hmm. You got 4, dear. I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm jealous. I'm kind of worried about my hippo. I feel like he's nothing but stats. Oh, that's a lot of dear. And I actually traded pretty well because of my... My whale, like, starting me with a bus. Okay. Right, I do not need chocolates. I need to roll and try and find tier 5s. Monkey, scorpion are fine. 
get rid of everything. And you know what? I am going to buy the can. I can find one more thing. I trust. There you go. Rhino, sure. And there's another can. I'm freezing it. I'm freezing it. Leave Scorpion at the front. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't have. I feel like uh, skinning the Rhino may have made more sense because it might actually be able to get its trigger off more easily. I don't know. How much are like default stats on these things? 8 HP, 8 HP, 6, but I'd be giving extra stats. Yeah, if I had given this thing the buff, then it might have been able to like one-shot most things, and it'd probably only have to worry about other people doing a similar thing or a frontline scorpion, so maybe buffing the rhino would have been a good idea. You got three monkeys and a cow. Oh my god, the scaling. Oh, wait, I actually kind of like that order. I did still lose, but I felt like my frontline scorpion was fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to buy these two, get the can, get these. Didn't even find another one in the next one, so that's fine. And yeah, these two have to be able to trade, so I'll leave the scorpion after that. But yeah, I want to scale this, scale this and trust. You want to get someone running tier fours? Yeah, they shouldn't have been. Like, what is this team? They have a tier two, a three, four, five, and a four. Jod, please sell your team. You are cheating. Uh, there is a snail on this team. Also should not be there. This team's looking fine, though. Yeah, there's a team that's still, like, a turn behind. Shouldn't have tier fours. Okay. Crunch time is so brutal. I, I know what you mean, but again, like, think of me as the, the streamer guy. Like, when I end my turn, half the time I'm leaving, like, 20 to 30 seconds with, like, nothing to do. So I don't really want to increase it by another however long. Okay, had this one. Still not on lethal. Nice. We can push it. Uh, leopard, fine. I could buy canned food, but I feel like I need to find, find as many of these as I can, so... Let's get started with that. Snake, it is a thing. I could even, like, mushroom the leopard just to get another, like, snake trigger. <laughs> I actually kind of tempted to do that. Uh, but I won't. I would much rather find melon. Good. Yeah, buy melon. I'm gonna leave the steak. And I was really hoping to find something useful there, but I didn't, so I'm just going to keep rolling. Okay, fly I'll take. I still have two rolls, and I can't buy anything else this turn, so I'm just going to, like, leave. Still don't really want the ball. More of these, fine, yeah. That works for me. Alright. And I'm freezing this, but, like, maybe I shouldn't, because I'm so close to death, and I feel like at this stage, buying separate things and giving them good equipment is way more important than, like, 3-3 three, three in stats. Double turkey was pretty good for your pivots. Oh, I imagine so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid. I'm unfreezing this, and I'm just buying these three, and I'm just trusting. Maybe throw these to the front? Like, assuming nothing dies, which they probably are, uh, I can at least get, like, three triggers out of the snake, and that may be enough to carry me a bit. I'll freeze a pizza. <laughs> I'll freeze a pizza. Let's have like one final look at the teams before I die. Again, Cheetah, please leave the game. A uh, ton of flies down here. This is kind of a similar team to me, like Triple Leopard on the first turn. I'm not even going to get to see like people's actual teams because this is just like the first turn of trying to pivot. So like people can't roll too much. This is hilariously like, Triple Fly. And then very sad to see the double snakes right at the bottom. I wish you luck. Statistics, everything is going to keep growing. Yeah, like this is where it actually like stabilizes and you can invest in your things. I didn't die. Pog, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty happy to keep like a ton of these leopards around, so let me just... Dragon scaling. But dragon scaling. Do I die if I do that? <laughs> I'm on 1 HP. If I had 2 HP, I'd be more than happy to like, you know... Maybe sell fly, combine a leopard, and then... Or maybe, like, combine both, or sell the snake or something, and just, like, super scale with double dragons. But I feel like I'd die if I do that. Like, I don't know who I'm going to go against. Let's, let's try. Freeze it. A little leopard. Okay, for now, stack leopard. Stack leopard onto you. Buy another one of these. And freeze the pigs. If I'm not dead, then I can definitely try and do some dragon stuff. And I think having a stake will also be pretty useful. Alright. 
get both dragons. I am, but I'm going to stagger it. Otherwise, I'd just be making myself like a lot weaker that one turn for, you know, <laughs> virtually no reason. Oh, I lived. I lived. I might have a chance. Okay, there is also chocolate, so I can actually level the... What is wrong with me? Okay. I'm getting rid of this. Okay. Get rid of that. Buy dragon. Do this. Another one of those. That is actually really nice. And I could probably just end on that instead of um doing other thing. Maybe end on the fly. I don't want to scale a fly, but like I could get so many like stats out of that. And this is only doing like a six six damage snipe. But I also actually want to keep this, and by rolling I can try and find some tier ones to sell. Don't care about that. There is a tier one. This is showing up again, so I'll freeze it a second time. And yeah, just just pray. Pray that it works. Master Rhino Cheetah. Yeah, this this person is just they've been cheating all the way through. Okay, wait, let me scale. Let me scale. <laughs> Alright, uh, combine it into there. I'm going to be scaling both of these. They're not going anywhere. I see the cat as well. I can maybe like buy that and then the pair or something. But I'd rather not. Maybe I'll just buy it and then give one of these a stake. <clears throat> there are a lot of very big things on the team, so I think that may be the play. Maybe just do something like this. Let's take over for 4-4. Four, four. It's not the same. I'd much rather find tier 1s. Like, that's, that's definitely what I'm looking for. Let Kino cook, yes. Four cats? Are you serious? Wait, did he say it or did he die? Is he three? Oh, there was three and he's dead. Okay. Yes, that is sad. Poor Chef Kino is cooking right now. I'm probably about to die. Yeah, this is a very large team. Safe, safe. I hate being on one HP. I just feel like every every fight is going to be my last, and definitely not in a good way. A tiger is nice, but I need to maintain my scaling and stuff, so I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, yes, love that. I can even like roll again, but I think I'd rather just buy sell and end on a four squad. I think it's fine. That's not what I wanted to freeze. These are both pretty good. Like, another one here is still really good. Really want to find the level up for this, though. Do you know what's the cheetah's name? Uh, do they lose or do they quit? Okay, well, oh no, they're still in the game. It was this person. They're not cheating now, so I don't know if they <laughs> tried to correct it or what. But yeah, it was happening for quite a while. Didn't kill anything important with that. Yeah. Okay, I am dead. Oh. <laughs> no, it was close. It was close. I just didn't want to roll with the tiger frozen because I could have rolled for like, you know, five turns or something. And there's, there's a lot of slots to waste when you're trying to find tier once. Oh, well, at least I am like top 10-ish. So that is a believer game. So GG's, GG's. Let me pay that out. I burned what I was cooking. I did, yeah. I don't blame myself, though. I did what I had to. This is... I, I swear, I have to look at this up every time, and I can't remember if there is a mantis emoji. There isn't. Okay. What can I use instead, then? I don't want to have frog emojis still. Is there, like, a middle? Oh, there's a middle finger emoji. I don't think that fits, though. <laughs> okay. Everyone, hello! We're doing Middle Mantis only, or however you want to phrase that. So the idea is, uh, you're not allowed to run anything on your squad until you find a Mantis, and when you have a Mantis, he must be in this position during every fight. Uh, you are allowed to have a Komodo, but again, you have to make him start there anyway. And uh, yeah, once you have him, you can buy and do whatever else you want. But all food is allowed, and sloth is allowed, even before Mantis. Uh, but yeah, good luck. I'm also going to change my stuff soon, I think, but... There's not much to look for, so I guess I just look for mice. And I'm probably going to go for the combo as well and see if I can find like two, three apples. Ooh, don't roll it. Don't roll it. Be the crunchy suspects and then change hat and stuff. 
Alright. What is a good hat for Mantis in the middle? I have no clue. <laughs> Let's just have a stack of hats, why not? And we're going to the cave, because I like the cave. It's kind of night mode friendly. Did I press enter on the title? Uh, I didn't, apparently. There we go. I still have the frog emojis, though. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to come by now because, like, I'm going to be trying to get the guinea pigs for the actual combo. I just want the free apples at the moment. Obviously, you don't care about salamander. And I don't need more of these. My god, I saw so many mice. Jod is cheating again, same guy. Ah, uh, why? Please, <laughs> leave the game. If you don't understand the rules, please just leave. Like, I don't know. How do you know when it's, like, intentional, you know? When you have a middle mantis, you can have pets in your left and right spot. Once you have a middle mantis, you can have as many things as you want, yeah. Numbed up mice into guinea pig. Hey, that's pretty nice. I just need to make sure I find, like, three of these at uh, the start of turn three. You can, like, find them a little bit later than that, but that's the ideal time to have stuff. All right. So, yeah, we're rolling for guinea pigs. Already found two. Okay, pretty good start. Doesn't mean a lot until I find the third one, but it makes me feel a lot safer about it. When you get the middle mantis, can you separate, or do they have to be touching? I don't know what that means. When you get a middle mantis, put it... Well, when you get a mantis, put it in the middle, it stays in the middle, and you can do whatever else you want. That's when you can start putting stuff to the side. So you can have, like, five... You can have a full squad, just only mantis in the middle. That is the requirement. If, as long as there is a mantis in the middle, then you can play, like, normal. Not freezing pigs for two rounds. Let's go slow. Uh, I tried that in so many lobbies and I just never found it. So now I feel like averse to it unless it doesn't really cost me much. I feel like if there are guinea pigs to try and get another combination, then it's, you know, well worth going for. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Okay. Still looking. Okay. It's fine, they stopped cheating. Okay, good. So it probably isn't intentional. I'm guessing. Or maybe they just got, like, scared because they got, got called out in chat. Oh, I like the new backgrounds. They, yeah, there's so many new backgrounds that I just haven't got yet. I'm still missing, like, eight of them or something. There are so many. Anyway, I could buy these and combine now. I'm still going to wait to try and find one more. And there it is. Okay, we do it next turn. We roll for a sloth here. <laughs> but yeah, I need to buy all of these on the same turn and then I if I get lucky and find a mantis then in the middle he goes. Sloth in the middle? If you find a sloth, you can leave that wherever you want. It doesn't have to be the mantis, but like the thing is you can still play a sloth with um other things. Alright, anyway, let's try and get a mantis. Not a mantis. Also not a mantis. Shame, okay. I could like buy and sell a crow and lose my apples for chocolates, but I don't know if that's actually worth anything, so we roll for sloth and find nothing. <laughs> See, this is pretty nice. Like they you know they can fill up their slots. Thing is you don't need to have those on separate sides. You're allowed to have them all on one side. As long as the mantis is in the middle of position, like literally, you know, three out of five, then you can have both of them on one side. Like that's fine. You have to move the mantis so the sloth lives. I don't know, bro. I don't know. That sounds like it'd be cheating. And your sap is down? Wait, how do you mean? Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start losing HP. Show me a mantis! Please. I need one. I need a... Oh, there's two of them. Okay. These are also very nice. Kind of. Oh, okay. well, that's kind of too many. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll just, like, stack two on top. I don't know if I need a level three mantis, and I definitely don't want multiple mantises on my team. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna leave that one. That's, that's not what I need. Rank 10, maybe? Thing is, it'd be buffing, like, my anteater or the ants. It'd be wasted for quite a while. <laughs> level three mantis. It's not worth it. I don't, I don't get anything out of that. <laughs> we have a robo-man as well. Whoa, why is there a madge in my chat? What happens? 
Was it me? If there is a void space between the mantis and a pet, does it kill? It should do, yeah. I'm pretty sure it just kills the closest stuff on either side. But again, you don't have to have um stuff on either side. As long as this is in the middle, then you can have like something there and something there, and then that's fine. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be buying this. A fox is a maybe. It's probably not what I want long term, though. And this is like one of the better ways to scale, and it actually might be. I don't know. What else can I do? I'm going to freeze it. It's a maybe. It's a maybe. I'll take it. And here we go. I can actually like start feeding my mantis things. Like, lots of things. I'm very foxy. Am I meant to thank you for that? What? <laughs> what is my response? I'm just going to pretend I never read it. <laughs> it's robots like the three musketeers. There's too many robots in my chat. This is the AI taking over. Oh, my HP. I'm on three hearts. It's a compliment trust. That doesn't make me trust you. Oh, polygon? I also want to do something with the platypus. I definitely don't want it to die, but I can like... I don't know. Sell duck to buff this, maybe? And then... I kind of want to just keep the fox here to, like, polar bear buff it. But maybe that's not the right play. Maybe I buy... Do this. Of course, it hits both ants that I will be sacrificing. I could buy a stalk, and then that get, like, killed and give me a tier 4. That's not terrible. I think I will keep that frozen. I'm not going to do it this turn, but... I think it's fine. And then... I don't know. Buy grapes, it, steal a taco. Although I don't love the polar bear buffing its stalk. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Whatever. Just buy that. Let it end. Oh, perfect hits! It didn't hit the ants this time. That makes up for the, the beaver. Found an early Velociraptor. I'm debating if, like... Because I think Velociraptor is definitely the end game. Oh. But I'm wondering if it's worth keeping, like, that early. I remember once I played this, I had to, um... <laughs> I just, like, bought Velociraptors to sacrifice each turn and then, you know, gave strawberries to them towards the end or something. Uh, this is an okay thing to sacrifice, to be honest. I think I definitely want to buy sell this. And, yeah, I'm just going to buy that to roll, I think. Like, I don't mind that dying. Don't need another one. Uh, Anteat is always fun. I think this on here maybe makes sense. Then I can steal cheese. Maybe. Maybe I just keep rolling. I'm going to keep rolling. Let's see if I can find some better stuff. Another fox, maybe? It might steal grapes, which is kind of sad, but I think I'm okay with it. Let's try and hit that. I need the polar bear to hit this guy. Chunky stork going to get murdered. Yeah, I've been like wasting the polar bear buffs, but I'm not sure like what else to do. Polar bear, this is, isn't going to turn great, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I need to like freeze too many things so I have things to sacrifice. So Polar bear not looking like it was the best decision. But at the same time, it's still like a lot bigger than most of the other things I can buy, so I need to decide if I'm going to look for something else. Yeah, like again, it's hitting the anteater. All right, what can I get from this tier that I care about? Stego is really good. Uh, ostrich is kind of nice. It's good for getting stats at least. I'm gonna leave these. I'm going to buy this. I think I keep this frozen, but I'm going to roll. I really want to find a Stegosaurus, and I do need to find some other thing to sacrifice, but. Stegosaurus. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> let's get rid of the fox. Buy this. Freeze that. Roll a bit more. Let me just end on this for now. The stego blobfish is insane. And I'm just going to leave it in this order. I don't think it matters too much. But yeah, maybe what I'm going to do is try and get like multiple stegos. I can have two stegos. Try and buff like each of these. Not that I can target it, but... Could be nice. They should make an item that activates start to bat pets, and it would be like an enemy on a stick. I think it would be cool if there was more ways to reactivate things' abilities, because we already have that for Waffle with bipeds. It'd be nice if they did introduce like other ways to do that. But anyway, do I do the blobfish now and like sell an ant? There's no point combining them. And I don't care about this, because it's, like, just ruining me. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Let's do that. Going to give that to you. He might just, like... Like, he's very large. 
don't know, there's a handful that might be able to kill him in one shot, so that that's probably still worth going for. Keep that frozen because I do want it. Velociraptor would be amazing towards the end of the game, but I don't think I need it yet. Definitely need one more mantises. And I don't know, give one of those to the Stegosaurus maybe. Also, I'm going to do that. Give it to the larger one. So then if I ever do combine these, at least I'm maintaining the most stats. Oh, and see you later, Froggy. Gungeon today? Nah, we're doing Brotato. I did play some Gungeon off stream with Deadly, though, and I recorded it. So I will be posting those to the archive channel eventually. I'm a little bit behind at the moment. But we had some pretty fun runs. Wish it was Overwatch, honestly. I I don't know what to do with Overwatch. Overwatch is like destroying my soul. Uh, buy sell crow, then we'll have like not a lot of gold, so maybe I don't do that. Yeah, I just freeze these for now. Another one of these? No. Hmm. Popcorn's kind of interesting. I can maybe throw that on another stego. But I like this. I like having double stego. I don't want to combine these. Can we do an Overwatch stream soon? Maybe. I'm thinking more like... Like, maybe not stream, but just recording sessions. Like, I'd be more than happy to do that. I don't know how it'd actually work on, like, the Twitch channel. Like, it's, you know, it's obviously going to be hard to read chat if I'm playing FPS games and... Stuff like that, so I think it might be easy to do it that way. But it could be cool. And hey, didn't lose any more HP. Alright, so I can buy sell the zebra if I really want. I do want to get the crow out, so I may sell an ant now anyway. So let's do that. Let's get this guy leveled up. And I'm gonna buy sell the zebra. If I sell zebra, uh, get rid of the stork maybe. Well, you know, get it out there. Freeze this, because that's also fine to throw into sacrifice. And again, don't know if there's like good order to this. Like, I don't know if it matters where like my largest stego is and where my summon thing is. So I'm gonna leave them behind here. I've done it before, to be honest, it's not too bad. It just might be easier to not stream. For me, it's just a matter of like, I'd like it to be good content and kind of easy to process. Like, easy to process. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm getting more like conscious of the fact that like, I may be sort of lowering the quality of my content by talking to chat in certain ways sometimes because like, i've had a couple of complaints on the archive channel about how like i often spend most of um the view lobbies just trying to like re-explain the rules over and over again and like ah if i could solve that then <laughs> that'd be pretty good maybe i could also maybe just try and like cut out more of the the waiting time but it's hard to do it quickly and not listen to everything Someone died with a 1-1 guinea pig? Was that like ages ago or like just now? Anyway, why, why did I have a polar bear? Oh, it's a tier 5, yeah. So that came from a stork. Alright, Spinosaurus is a good way to get stats as well, actually. I'm gonna freeze that, but I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna freeze this as well. <laughs> and I'm just gonna popcorn it. So it's gonna resummon a tier 6 for me. I think I'm okay with that. So yeah, same deal. Now there's um only two things to buff. So like, I'm hoping this one hits that. They may also both just hit this, but... You know. If I'm here, I'll just shout a chat for you, don't worry. Appreciate it. Alright, still save. And then, yeah, that's gone. This is going to summon something else. Hopefully it's like one of these. It's a reindeer. That's fine. Alright, this is staying, though. Like, I want to have two stegos. Don't buff this. That's cool. Okay. And then, is there a good thing to summon? I guess I take this. Because that would like kill itself and I'd only get like 1-2 in stats. And this is only a 1-2 anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> that is the better thing there. Would love for my Stegos to hit this this time though. A reindeer is actually a great like temporary pet. Need to re-download forts to play with you guys. That is another thing actually. I've been wanting to like play with Destructor at some point to make a... Oh, yeah, I just... <laughs> Destructor is here, yeah. Still waiting on you to make a forts vid with Discord people. I really should, yeah. Like, I want my first... Well, I think... I say I want my first. I think there are other games that would be best for, like, my first sort of introductory... Uh, what do I call it? Variety games? But I really want to do that. Okay. Oh, I've lost. Okay. Ooh, 1 HP. 
one HP. This may be the <laughs> start at the end. Oh, there is a blobfish again. I'm sad I haven't found more of these. Maybe I just buy a popcorn to try and not be dead soon. And I don't need to freeze the orca because I'm going to have two ants to sacrifice next turn anyway. So I'm going to leave that while I roll for like more stego levels at the moment, I think. But if your spider buffs hit the sea urchin. Oh, hold on. I think you're a fun streamer and make good content on YouTube as well. I like the chat aspect of your videos since the viewers can't see him regardless. I know what you mean. I, I think it's just hard to tell because it's always going to be like a, appealing to different people. Alright, is this the final turn? Uh, it might be. That's very scary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I did not get a good hit in with that coconut armor. You got like a clean hit on my like near 50 50. Alright, well, GG's. That is definitely not top 16 though. So congratulations, Doubters. I'm like top 30-ish. GG's, GG's. This is like a good looking team though. Like I feel like I had a good chance with this. I was, I was so close as well. Just having that to pop to level this again, that would have made like the world of a difference. But I guess it was turn 17 and I had like barely leveled these. So maybe that was my fault. Potato now. Yeah, I'm going to take a tiny break, I think, and then we'll be changing over.